Hello guys, um, in this video I will just explain something um, that a lot of people have been asking and the, the thing is they don't understand um, what's the relation. For example, <clears throat> what is the relation with an index and an ETF? The, the thing I want to clarify this because someone sent me an email telling me that he is doing day trading and the index and the ETF they are doing the same thing it means if the index goes up the ETF goes up if uh, the index is going down the ETF is going down it means there is a real connection between index and the ETF now the funny thing is that an ETF tracks an index so it's the same thing the only difference is that you can't buy an index okay you can't buy an index but you can buy an ETF that tracks the index for example uh, the index, the Dow Jones Industrial, it has 30 stocks. Together with certain form formula, it's the index. All these stocks, they go up, the, stock, the index go up, because it's the average of all these 30 stocks. Now, when the stocks go down, the index go down. But you can't buy the index by itself. Let's say right now uh, the Dow <coughs> is 17,000. Just an example. Okay? You can't buy the index with $17,000. But you can buy an ETF which is called an exchange traded fund. They say fund, but it's... It, it is it is behaving like a stock now I will explain the ETF tracks the index it means whatever the index does the ETF does okay but the ETF is a smaller let's say for I as I give you an example with Dow Jones industrial the D J I A okay it's the ETF now this ETF is like I don't know what's it what is it now like 150 or 160 or I don't know it attracts the index so when the index is going up you find the ETF is going up so it's the same thing now, as we have seen, you can't buy index, but you can buy with an alternative, which is an ETF. Now we say fund, exchange traded fund, because it attracts a fund, which is the index, which is 30 stocks. When, when we have a lot of stocks together, it's called a fund. F-U-N-D. Okay? That's why we call it fund, but, uh, but in real trading, this ETF, it's like a stock. It's not like a mutual fund. No. It's like a stock. You can, in the morning, you can buy it, you can sell it, you can short it. You can do whatever you want. It's, it acts or it behaves like a stock. Although it is a fund. But the Wall Street guys, when, when they created this kind of fund, okay, they give them the ability to be traded. Okay? So an ETF is like a stock. You can buy it. You can sell it. But it, is, but it doesn't represent a company. No, it represents an index. That's why 
it tracks an index so by itself it has no it has no nothing okay it's not like a stock a stock for example let's say Facebook when you buy one share of Facebook FB you buy one share it means you buy one share of the company okay but when you buy one share of an ETF what do you buy you are buying part of the index which is a fund okay so to sum it up an ETF which is called an exchange traded fund tracks an index and all the indexes or indices in the market they have something that tracks them for example for you you want for example to track gold what do you do okay you go and you see the ETF called GLD GLD gives you uh, the gold price okay but in stock market not in the real physical uh, not in the real physical thing because physical is something else so ETFs all the ETFs that we that we uh, that you see there are hundreds there are thousands of ETFs it's just something that tracks something else that's it but it acts like a stock it doesn't act like mutual fund because a mutual fund you don't buy it in the day you buy it when the market finishes stops at four o'clock after four o'clock you can buy the ETF because they will have all the calculations and they will give you one price so an ETF it's like a stock you can buy it in the morning in the afternoon whatever you want it's it's the same as one stock okay you can day trade you can uh, um, uh, do swing trading with it you can invest in it for example for you if you you want let's say S&P 500 you want to get what the S&P 500 get in the year either up or down you just buy the in uh, buy the ETF that's it you can do that you can buy the market whatever the market gives you it gives you for example the market the market this year is let's say it is uh, up 10% you will get 10% if it is 25% you will get 25% if it is down 10% or 20% or 30% you will get that and you will lose money okay that's why uh, it acts like a stock but it represents something else a an index or a mutual fund it, re it represents it attracts something else and most of the time it attracts index or indices okay so please if you have any question about this just comment thumb it up or subscribe if you don't and if you have uh, really a problem just uh, send me a private message and we can uh, go from there thank you very much and have a nice day